Namaste and welcome to class. And thank you so much for sitting with me with your undivided attention. It's a lot to me. In today's class, I would like to talk about transitions and higher selves. Because in this moment in our planet and in collective of our humanity, we're crossing a big, big phase that is super exciting, but it has a lot of challenges and require the awareness of what is it that we are choosing. At the same time, also requires that we are more at ease with the fact of transitions. When we understand the transitions, we're able to direct our energy, our mental inspirations, our emotional desires into a place that is more desirable. At the same time, transitions offer us the unexpected. Transitions offer us something that we have not imagined before. And this is where the role of imagination in transitions come into place. Not because you need to imagine any outcome, because that's not part of the manifestation process, but you need to imagine something that is in imaginable. For example, have you imagined that the human race may be living 400 years instead of 80? That the expectancy of life can be extended. Can you imagine that? You may say, oh yes, I heard it in some parts. But is it possible now? So imagination plays a great deal of, cons of reconstructing our reality from a very different perspective in conjunction with the transitions that Earth has given to us in an accelerated way. So what are transitions? Transitions are the detachments from one frequency or from one perspective of seeing yourself and the world to another. That is unexpected, that is new, that is fresh. You can never transit with caring things, souvenirs, memories, sentimentalities. You need to transit in detachment. For example, let's see the process of divorce where the disruption of the habitual of a clan or family it plays a different role. Maybe one of the members need to go out of the house and be alone and live alone. Maybe not in a big house, but in a small apartment. And that is opportunity of complete detachment. Detachment of being in a clan, in a company and being together to learning to be alone and not filling the space with things that are distracting, but really be alone within and reframing things with no resentment. So this is the first stage of the transition. It's the shedding, it's the destruction and we can take it like, oh my God, it's a, it's a scandal, <laughs> it's so personal, it's me, it's because of me, and you tinted with guilt. Or just simply you say, I am ready for new life, for new beginnings. Any creative process starts with destruction. And that destruction is about detachment. It's about leaving behind with no resentment 
and with no regrets. You just simply see in the transition that that's the way it is and that is necessary and that if it's happening it's because you are ready and that you need to learn to have the proper perspective so you take advantage of the transition instead of looping into guilt and resentment, bitterness. So the second stage of the transition is when you learn to be alone. You either take a trip by yourself, you go to another culture, you explore all the things, but you ultimately are alone. And in that moment of introspection, you need to be aware that, number one, do not distract yourself. Don't fill up yourself with the phone, with eating more than is needed, more people, more trips, more things, your buzz, and wanting to fill up the emptiness. Don't do that. Instead, be conscious that what you need is to retreat from the frequency, from your last creation, and that you need to set up the computer, your internal computer. And you need to wait until the third state of transition comes. So in this second state is to learn to be alone and be happy with yourself. And this has a very profound ingredient in your transition. Because being alone means the external energy that you have put out. Let's continue with the example of the divorce. The, kids and the jobs and then it comes in a stop and then you go in. All the energy goes in into your heart. It goes into feeding, recharging your exhaustion of the last era. So you need to rest. That is not easy for some but how you rest is to sleep, is to eat less, without depression, without feeling low. It's an in-breath of energy that you need in order to build new frequency for your third stage of transition. But we continued with the second stage because this is an important one, how to be alone. So let's say you go in, you have your meditation, your daily routine, your self-care, you choose what you, you want to do in life, you don't betray yourself, you are more integral, more authentic, and you start being more happy with what and where you are. And that's the quintessence of this second stage, when you are just happy alone. How long it takes? It depends of how aware you are. There's no rush on it. It can take a year, take three years, it doesn't matter. What it happens is that you need to rescue in full joy in full enthusiasm, in full pride, where you are, how you are, by yourself. No seeking for salvation, no seeking for new relationships, new jobs and new things, new external things. It's, can you be just be quiet for a moment? Just a moment. That create presence. And with that presence, you enter into the third state of transition where you start now receiving naturally and effortlessly 
synchronicities and opportunities that indicate the new path to take. Either a new place to live, either a new friends, a new circle of people, either a new job, either something that comes your inspiration and say a movie you are watching and you say, oh, that place looks like, that activity looks like, that job looks like. You get a sparkle and that is sparkle is the union of the freshness of the information of your higher self. It just gives you the signals. With that sense of presence, you it's like again getting a magnetic force in you. And in that magnetism, creation starts to flow. Now, how you can maintain that? Because in here, you don't have the mental training to maintain the consistency of your presence. You get easily distracted, easily deluded, easily catch into the, the, the ego that say, oh, let's expect some um, approval from my ex, let's say. Ah, let's say that... I will prove it, that I am fine, that I am okay. That kind of things, you don't need that. It debilitates your presence. And, it, and without presence, you cannot manifest the fourth stage of your transition. Maintaining presence, you need the meditation. You need the aloneliness. You need the quietness, the desireless, the no expectations of where you should be, what you should be doing. Let life show you the way day by day as you follow your passion every day. Presence is simple and mind is complex. Heart is simple by maintaining the heart by maintaining that connection with the higher self, you maintain simplicity and you maintain the heart happy because the heart is the temple of the self. And then the final state of transition is when you actually take action on the opportunities and in the synchronicities. With no expectation, so, oh, now I will make money, I will be um, approved, I will be seen, I will be nothing of that. Let the ego stop for a moment. And take the action that excites you the most in a more consistent way. Don't quit in the third day. And see that that it may bring some Challenges that is part of reaffirming or the testing your new frequency. So sometimes you found the action, oh, now I need to speak English. <laughs> I don't know how to speak English. I move another country. How am I going to speak English? How am I going to communicate what I know? Challenges. With that challenges, instead of say, oh, I cannot do it, never been good in languages, this is uh, bad, and I don't have the opportunities here, and so on and so forth. You apply yourself. You keep positive, and this I have to underline. Keep positive. Don't be defeated by your own imagination or catastrophic imagination, I will say, that it says you cannot learn the language. You're poor, you cannot do that. You don't have the means. You're at war. No. Nobody is victim of the outside. The only victim is what we tell ourselves, how we perceive our reality.
how we are not lacking into the imagination to create the consistent action of prosperity, of self-dignity, of self-respect. And in that action, there is a test. It's the test of integrity. It means that you are not doing things that are selling yourself cheap in order to get what you want or you think you need to get. That's why that action has to be with no expectation. Just do it. And life and your higher self will give you more than you are imagining. But if we are insisting that I should get, I am working this action to get there, we are lacking the possibility of a wide range of opportunities that were not in our imagination, that it was not in our spectrum. So engage in the action and transitions consistently. If you are need to maintain your con connection, meditate, self-care, focus positively on what you want, what you like, what you're passionate about it. Go with no defeat. No defeat. There are days good and there are day days bad. It's not about how you feel it, it's about what you do with how you are feeling it. So the doing is alchemy, and the doing is creativity, and the doing is abundantly giving you satisfaction, and abundantly giving you the challenges that you need to test that you seriously want a higher frequency. In that action, you need to consider three things. One, collaboration. You are not going to carry the world on your shoulders alone. And it's more fun to do it with other people. You may think that that's not the case if you are fighting to come out of your own bubble. But things are much fun to do it together. And collaboration is one test of humanity right now. To bring solutions, for example, in the climate change and the shift of Earth that is inevitable, not our guilt, but is Earth wishes. We need to be together. We need to prepare ourselves, putting together new ideas, new resources. The second thing in the action, and I mentioned it already, is consistency. It's a great test for many because if the ego is bigger than your inspiration of action, the ego will give you limitations and the ego will make you spin, meaning that simple things it will look huge and then you think you cannot move, that you cannot act, that you are a, a victim. So, it's about the consistency. If you have hard time on that, put little task. Okay, I will do my meditation this week, 10 days, 15 days. I'll call my friend to remind me. Set up something that is helpful for you to be consistent because you only can be a master if you repeat the same constructive patterns over and over. The brain understands that. Patterns of behaviors reinforce your brain 
to respond in certain way. So why not programming yourself with the right action consistently? And third, don't take it personally. Your actions are not there to applause you. Oh, you did so well. Oh, this is so good. I'm successful. No. You do the action with no gaining. You simply do the action because it's your passion. It's what you want. It's what you like. It's like a play, like when children are playing. They don't go, oh, I am playing so my mother can praise me. When they really play, they're just so immersed. The faculty of concentration, imagination, satisfaction, and reinforcement of your own energy field is there. Play. You are in a play, the play of life. It won't last. It's impermanent. There is nobody testing you, say, oh, she did well, she didn't do well. Your morality is yawned. It's in your head. Life itself, what it wants is that you play. That you play fair, that you play constantly, and that you play because you want to grow. So, transitions, when we understand all these four stages, we have more chances of not panicking in any of these stages. And we have more chances to take life with the enthusiasm, with the clarity, with the nourishment, with the compassion and the gratitude that we are here giving these transitions to grow to love each other, to be more ourselves. Hopefully this is helpful for you. And I thank you so much for sitting with me and I'll see you in our next class. Namaste. Namaste.